Thanks for signing up and congratulations. This quick tutorial will show you how to apply some of the frequently used tools available to you with your eDiet's NutriHand meal plan. After signing in, you'll be asked to fill out your biometric information, which will then show you your BMI. Next, your daily goal selection, and then you'll be prompted to choose from one of our guided meal plans. Remember, you can change your selection throughout the week or month. I'll show you how. I'm going to start by choosing the Mediterranean meal plan. First, I'm going to navigate to the food log. Based off my Mediterranean selection, NutriHand has assigned the first few weeks for me. I'll show you how easy it is to journal with my meal plan calendar. For today's breakfast, it was suggested that I have a pita with feta and tomatoes, strawberries, and scrambled eggs. I have finished up my breakfast and I'll check off what I've eaten. For my first snack of the day, hummus was recommended, but I'm not a big fan of hummus, so I'm going to make a substitution. For lunch, I ate a little lighter than expected, so I will change the portion size by clicking the edit button. I also had a mid-afternoon snack. My coworker brought in a special treat, so I clicked on add, keyword search oatmeal cookie, added the item and portion size, and voila. My oatmeal cookie has been logged and I'm still on track to meet my daily caloric goal. I'm really looking forward to tonight's dinner. With eDiet's NutriHand, recipes are always at my fingertips. This evening, my family and I are having fish. I've already gone to the grocery store using the shopping list feature, and now dinner is just a click away. This recipe seems simple enough. I think I'll have the kids help me with preparation. After a delicious and healthy dinner, I like to look back and review my successes and those places I can improve. With just a quick glance at my saved micronutrient details, I can rest assured that I'm making healthy choices for me and my family. I also like to compare my total caloric intake against my caloric goal. That way, I can make adjustments for the future. Now that you've learned how to apply some of the frequently used tools, be sure to click the Help button to learn more.